Okay, uh, we're gonna serve as pump number one. We're gonna be removing the bonnet, uh, the bearing nut, and checking the stuffing box for leakage and seeing if the oakum has been damaged and needs to be replaced. But first, we're gonna lock out the pump. Make sure you lock it out and tag it so nobody goes and turns it on while you're working on it. Use your own lock that you have your own key and no one else has a key for it. Tag it, that's to the guy that locked it so they know who to go and see to unlock it. Back we go. I'm gonna remove the safety cage off the bottom of the, off the motor where the uh, stuffing box is. Remove the safety cage so that we can get it to stuffing box. This is the stuffing box. These are your, the adjustment bolts. They're loose, they're not supposed to be. And this is a wiper ring. This so that the water doesn't climb up the shaft and spray everywhere. You're supposed to keep this down so that the water hits it, goes down onto the pad, goes through the drain, back down to the clear well. So right now we're gonna take the top of the motor off and check it to make sure that the impellers are placed correctly before we start it. Put your bolts inside the bonnet so you can find them when you need them. The motor's supposed to ratchet when it stops. The ratchets are nice and loose. When it's in gear, that's how it drives. Okay, we're gonna remove the bolt that holds the nuts in place. For lack of a better screwdriver, we're gonna use this. Don't go anywhere without your pocket knife. There's three holes in the top of this operating bearing where this bolt goes into, but I generally mark the one that I take it out of so that you can find it afterwards. Once you put the nut on, you can't find it. Just mark them all so you can find them. You remove the nut. This is left-handed thread. Make sure it's nice and loose. You should use a no more hammer with this. Just make sure the impellers are right down. Now we're gonna spin the nut back down. Now count the number of turns it takes to lift this up until it stops. You don't want it to force it. One, two, three, four, five, six, Six and a half. To properly set this, you want the impellers in the center of the bowls. So we're six and a half turns out. We want to go three and a quarter turns back down. Four. One, two, three, and a quarter. Now we're gonna try and put that screw back in. Impellers are properly set on this pump now. Now what we'll do is we'll spin it up and see if the packing's gonna leak. We'll go and unlock it and we'll spin this pump up to see if it's gonna leak. Move your lockout and tag, turn your power back on, and we'll get the operator to put it in hand and start it and we'll see what it does. When you're doing this, you gotta be careful when you're doing this that you don't get your fingers in there. It's the only way to tighten them properly. Make sure that they're not leaking. Once you get them tight, give each one a quarter of a turn at a time. Keep it nice and even. Okay, we're done. We've evidently succeeded in getting the noise out of the motor. It just needed to be adjusted. We shut her off, put the safety cages back in place, put the bonnet back on, and we're done with this pump. Have a nice day.